Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. We've got a, another great set of home tours for you today. We're in a brand new Toll Brothers community. We're gonna look at two different two-story homes. We've already modeled the single-story home, so if you have any questions, you'd like a single-story Toll Brothers home, let me know, check out our channel today. We're gonna to check out the Rubino and the Vantor. I believe I pronounced those both right. So one's about 3,500 square foot, one's 3,900 square foot. And depending on when you see this video and contact me currently today, Oh, a little thing just fell. It's okay. We roll live. Uh, you get about $25,000 in incentives if you go through the uh, Toll Brothers lender. You can apply that towards closing costs, interest rate buy downs, uh, design studio upgrades, whatnot. They have a couple of quick move in special lots, homes that are existing being built, and we're looking at about a 5.5% interest rate on those in addition to the incentive. So give me a call if you're looking today or if you're looking in the future, let's build something. This community will have a community pool with it. It'll be gated and um, yeah, let's go check out these homes. Thank you all so much for uh, joining. Please, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button so you can be notified when we have new home tours pop up. And uh, we're just grateful for the support and we appreciate it. And of course, if you're looking to buy or sell a home, that's what we really do best. The video home tours is just something we enjoy to do to help educate and advise anyone who's looking to buy or sell in Las Vegas what different properties, different parts of town can get you. So here we are in the community. This is the model right here we're going to go check out. They're doing some photography inside, so you're going to see some equipment, um, but pay no mind to it. So you can see the exterior on this one is going to be the uh, modern farmhouse. And this is four or five bedrooms as you want it. It's 3,556 square feet. And this one has a three car garage. So we're just gonna peek into this garage real quick. So it's a two and one deep, as you can see. You got your traditional two car garage. And then it goes one hole deep down there. It's actually it's pretty deep. It's deeper than a normal car garage. Tankless hot water heater. And um, yeah, let's head inside the house. There's some of that photography equipment I was talking about. So when you first come in the house, got a stairway off to the right. You can see the loft up there. Got some really good looking chandeliers up there. Kind of pan back down here. Over to the left, you've got a sitting room. It's likely gonna be one of the optioned out bedrooms. If you needed a downstairs bedroom, then it would also eat up that hallway a little bit and become an ensuite. But as it's, you know, it's a nice little formal dining room or you could enclose this, make it an office if you wanted to. And here's that bathroom that would become part of it. So it's just a, right now it's just a half bath with a closet on the back end. Of course, that would be reconfigured if you were looking at the five bedroom option. And let's just stick with the downstairs since we're here. So this is the one room, great room concept, uh, depending on where in the country or the age of the homes you've been seeing and been living in. A lot of day, times nowadays, you won't have a formal dining area, separate, separate living room, kitchen. It's just all one big room. So this house happens to have a lot of great windows coming in, a lot of natural light. That's really good. Kind of panning around there. There's a closet right here. There's no doors on any of the rooms. And then over here into the kitchen. Got a nice uh, center island there. It's got that cool looking retro porcelain farm sink with that front apron on it. Little gold knobs on all the uh, cabinets and appliances. Big old built-in fridge right there. Got this little nook off to the side by your pantry. So nice size pantry. Turn back around, coming back out. We got a little desk there. So maybe you're you know working on something and need a little extra kind of work area. So kitchen, of course, kind of get you a nice feel for it. We've got 10 foot ceilings in here. There's also fire suppression. So this house has its own fire sprinklers. A lot of cabinets, nice big slider that opens up there. And it's a plenty big lot here. Like this is easily a pool size lot plus. So you could do all kinds of stuff with this lot as you wanted. Kind of show it to you. Do have a nice big balcony up there too. 
And all right, let's uh, let's continue back inside, and we'll head upstairs. So yeah, nice home. I think I mentioned earlier, but there's some pretty good incentives going on depending on when you were to get into this community. I'm sorry, here we got a little little half hallway right there. Little Harry Potter closet right there too, so. All right, now let's go upstairs. All right, so here we are in the loft upstairs, which is, it's a nice size lot. It's got a big couch in it. It's got a TV, a little console table. Kind of just pan around here. You know, it's kind of cool. You see like trim like this in a lot of homes. You could easily do that to your house. It's just trim. Over here, we have three bedrooms. So here's one of the shared bathrooms, two sinks. There's your uh, full on bathroom shower area. There's a traditional bedroom right here. A lot of windows coming in. So this, I mean, the way this house sits, like you'd have some pretty, pretty sick views. Nice big walk-in closet with a, a window in here too, which is really cool. You get a lot of natural light coming in there. And then here we have the laundry room. Plenty big. You could have cabinets or not have cabinets. That'd be your choice if you're building the house. Got this nice big linen closet right there. So that's always important. You want to be able to store lots of linens, towels. Another secondary bedroom. Couple windows, big walk-in closet. Kind of back up here a little bit. So yeah, just a really nice house. Good functionality. Primary bedroom is separate from the secondary bedrooms. Now this secondary bedroom is actually an ensuite, so we got a closet right to the left. And then we have its own bathroom, our own bathroom in here. So it's a nice full bathroom. This one's laid out with a walk-in shower and a single sink tub or a single sink cabinet or a countertop. Jeez, excuse me. All right, let's go take a peek at that primary. All right, so here's the primary bedroom. It's really nice and big. They happen to have some stone work on the, uh, the back wall, make it like an accent wall. So it's got a nice touch to it. Got these beams up top. Nice look. Also have this really cool room right off the primary. So this could be a nursery. If you had, you know, infants or babies, it could be an office, it could be a home gym. You know, so it's a pretty decent sized room. Three windows. And then that door, you could easily close this off if you needed, uh, you know, to block the light out or whatever. Like if someone was working in the morning, you could put a traditional door on it. You could put a, a farm little slider close on it. Nice big balcony, really big balcony. So one thing I've been seeing a lot of lately is uh, homeowners are enclosing balconies. A lot of people telecommute nowadays, so you can easily enclose because you have a roof, or you have a structure. So it's a matter of walls and finishing on the inside. So you can actually do a home addition for probably half the cost, if not more than less than half the cost, just because the, the majority of what's needed is already there. So, all right. And then here we go into the bathroom, right? Got a little console area right here off to the left. The toilet is right to my right. Probably don't need to take a peek at that. You got separate sinks. So these ones are configured above, uh, above mount sinks. Got a nice freestanding tub right there in the center. And you have, here we pop into the closet, right? So it's one nice walk-in closet, plenty big walk-in shower right there. And then over here, we have walk-in closet number two. So a nice little setup. You can have uh, theirs and theirs, his and hers, or however you wanna call it, classify it. So again, that, uh, that sums up this home tour. Thanks so much for joining us. 
The prices on this one start in the upper 600s and go into the mid 700s, depending on how you have it configured, what the exterior elevation is. Again, if you have any questions about buying or selling real estate in Las Vegas, you need an advisor, give me a call. That's my phone number. Please check the description for more information on this house. Again, thanks again for following, like, subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next home tour. Thank you.